Hello, my name is Evan Fader with Geomagic. I'm going to be showing you a quick little snippet on how to use the mirror tool inside of Geomagic Spark. So as you can see here, I have a part that has quite a bit of uh, features that can be mirrored. So we're going to go ahead and start this process. As you see, I've cleaned up the mesh and I'm ready to go over to the design tab by hitting the transfer button. I brought it into the design tab and I'm ready to start creating some CAD geometry. I'm going to use my extrude or extract tools to extract some of the geometry. First I'll use my extrusion and I'm going to go ahead and just select on this area here and you'll see that it gives me a nice little preview of my sketch. I'm also going to select this side so that I can get the full plate And you see that I have a nice little sketch here, but I'm missing a segment. And that is because over on this side, I have close curves unchecked. So I'm going to go ahead and check that. Quickly hit Auto, Optimize, and go ahead and uh, select OK. This is going to create my first geometry. And I'm going to use some of the tools right to pull to go ahead and pull this up to the top of the mesh. On the bottom, I'm just going to drag this down just to give me a little bit of room here. And I'm going to go ahead and hide that. Now, the next step I want to work with is this geometry here, these cylinders. So I'm going to come up to my Extract tab here and use the Fit Cylinder command. And I'll come down here and select it. And as I go up, I drag up, I select more geometry. As I go down, I select less. So that looks to be about right. And I've noticed I've checked Auto Optimize before selecting my fit. And I'm going to go ahead and just say OK. That'll optimize it and put my cylinder in place. Again, let's use the Pull tool. And we'll go ahead and drag that up. Now again, I'm going to use that up to. Let's drag down and select there. Let's get the underside there. And let's make sure we don't drag too much. Let's get the underside and that looks good. Okay, the next thing I need to do is mirror it about this plane here that would cut this section here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. First I'm going to create some planes and I'm going to do that at the origin. And that looks to be about right. We could probably mirror across this plane and this plane here. So let's do that. We'll use the mirror function. I'll go ahead and select the plane that I'm going to mirror about and then select the geometry. And we notice that the geometry doesn't quite line up. And that is because this plane, which looks to be across the center, is really not. So the origin is not in the center. So let's just back up a few steps here. And let's go ahead and create a plane through the center there. So I'm going to use my Fit Plane tool up here. And I'm going to select this region here and go ahead and say OK. And it's going to create a plane for me. And let's do the same thing on the other side. Now that we've created two planes here, we can create a plane about, about the center of those two. And we're going to go ahead and say plane. And instead of saying the reference plane, we're going to go ahead and build a plane. So I'm going to go ahead and select that first plane there. Select the second one, and then just choose the center option as the selected. Again, let's go ahead and take this geometry now and mirror it across there. So again, mirror, select the plane, come into the CAD geometry, and that looks much better. Now let's do the same thing over here and just mirror this across too. So again, that's use the fit cylinder, come in here. Select OK. Go ahead and use our pull tool up to that section there. Grab the bottom, drag down a little bit, use the mirror, select plane, select CAD geometry. Oh, it looks like we had selected the wrong plane, so let's back up. You might want to make sure that your selections are correct when you go ahead into the mirror tool. So let's go ahead and bring that down. 
clear out of the pool tool and go into the mirror, select my plane, and my CAD geometry. Looks good. Okay, now that we got uh, some planes in there, let's clean some of this stuff up just by unchecking some of this area here. Okay. Let's go ahead and hide away those cylinders for now. The next step I want to do is go ahead and cut away of this extrude. You can see that there's a cut that goes across the center. So we'll go ahead and hide that for now. And this time we'll use fit extrude. And we're going to use the paintbrush. Let's use the paintbrush just under general selection. Go ahead and just paint a nice little section there. And you'll notice that it gives me a triangle there. Well, if we uncheck that closed curve, we'll get a surface. So for me, that looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and say OK. This should give me a surface that goes along there. Perfect. Let's use that pull tool again. And just double click to grab all the sides. Grow that out a little bit. Let's back up and grab that. Just get that all the way through the whole item. Looks good. Let's go ahead and turn on that plane that goes through the center again and use the mirror functionality. So we're going to mirror across the center there. What are we mirroring? This surface here and go ahead and say OK. And let's go ahead and take these two surfaces, turn on our extrude, and we're going to quickly use the combine tool, which will go ahead, grab the geometry, well, make sure you grab the proper geometry. The cutter is going to be the surface. We're going to cut away that piece again on the other side, and looks good. Okay, let's hide that for a quick second here. And what I'm going to do is just go ahead and um, go ahead and place a plane down here in the bottom. I'm going to use my wizard selection, say OK. This is going to be the bottom cutter. Looks good. Let's hide that for now. Next thing, let's create a cylinder across there. So I go ahead and select it. It takes too much geometry, so I'm going to go ahead and drag down. Fill that looks about right, and say OK. And that's going to create me a cylinder. And I'll do the same thing for the smaller cylinder, selecting both sides, and say OK. Now we're going to use the pull tool. Just go ahead and make sure that this geometry is where it should be. So up to this surface here. Let's go ahead and do the same thing here. Up to. Let's get the other side. Up to. Okay, let's go ahead and turn on our extrude and let's turn on our cylinders that we've created and we can just turn off that mesh there and then finally we're just going to combine all of our CAD geometry here that we've created so we're just kind of walk around select all of our CAD data and then we go and it looks like we're down to two so let's combine that and that and just say merge and there we go so now we're down to one geometry. We can rename it if we'd like. And we'll just call this um, mirror. Well, it looks pretty close to being done, but remember this plane that I created? Let's go ahead and use that as a cutter. So cut away the bottom. And looks good. Let's go ahead and compare that. Looks like the only thing we'd need to do to finish this part up is create the rounds. Um, and I can show you one round. We'll go ahead and just drag that down to about there. Looks to be about two. So I'd go ahead and punch in two. I'll do the same thing on the other side. Punch in two. There we go. And then I finish with the rest of the part.